What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And in today's video, we gotta talk about what's going on with Stellantis and another 2,400 jobs. At this point, we know for sure are poof, gone. Uh, roll the intro. <laughs> What is up guys welcome on back to tk's garage and in today's video we have to talk about um thousands of jobs gone 2400 at a minimum but maybe up to as high as 3700 now they're confirming at least 2400 are definitely gone the warren truck plant is being shelved they're closing uh, most of the operations, I don't know what else they're going to do there if they're not building the Ram Classic, but they're closing most of the operations down. Um, other Ram production has or is going to be moved, as they call, overflow to Mexico. Now, we know that that's complete BS, but they're doing it anyway. And uh, Stellantis basically warned uh, the union that they were going to cut all these jobs. So basically, the bullet points are this. Stellantis will, and I'll put this right here, Stellantis will def, indefinitely lay off 2,450 U.S. plant workers in Warren, Michigan later this year as it discontinues the production of an older version of its Ram 1500 pickup. That's the classic. The, tr the company has not announced a vehicle to replace the truck because there is none. The layoffs are expected to start as soon as October. Um, so... And this is the other thing that I don't understand. This is this is part of the reason that Carlos Tavares, I feel like, is an absolute idiot, right? The, the truck that's making them the most money right now are fleet vehicles. Cheap, cheaper to manufacture, cheaper to sell, fleet vehicles. Now, they're not that cheap. They still cost over 50 grand in some cases. But uh, the truck that's largely used as a low-cost pickup to sell to entry-level buyers and fleet customers since the automaker introduced a new generation of the Ram in 2018 with the facelift, right? It's produced alongside the Jeep Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer at the Warren Truck Assembly Plant located near Detroit. Gone. Um, now, what, are the, what they're saying is, and I saw this over at... Um, Detroit News is that they are, let me see here, that they are offering a bunch of, um, they're basically going to get un unemployment insurance for 52 weeks, and then they're going to get them like reassignment assistance or new job assistance. Like basically, it's almost like a severance pack. They get paid a little bit more money over another 52 weeks. So they'll basically be on unemployment for a year. They get another year of some sort of payment and that's it. And here's the thing, I, I've already, I'm in the Facebook groups and stuff. People don't know what, who, who it is or that it's me, but I'm in there. And it's amazing to see, the, you know, I, look, I, I appreciate the optimism of these workers that are like, oh, this is only temporary. We'll get our job back. They're going to build something else here. No, they're not. No, the F they're not. They're going to build whatever they're going to build later or whatever other model or whatever. They're going to build that in Mexico. They're going to build that in Canada. They are not going to build that in Detroit. Stellantis, every opportunity they get to cut more American jobs, they're going to do it. The quicker... Y'all get that through y'all's head, the better it's going to be for you. I literally had somebody reach out to me, you know, they're a UAW worker or whatever, and they're like, hey, I have an opportunity to go work at Ford. I can leave, you know, what, and they work on Grand Wagoneers. I have an opportunity to go work at Ford. Should I take that job? You know, I got to relocate my family and whatever, and I can go work at Ford. I was like, yeah, yeah, that, that, that makes sense to me because I don't see... 
in the next 24 months, there being many, if at all, any UAW jobs for Stellantis in the United States. Every opportunity they get a, an opportunity to weasel out of that contract, every opportunity they get to not have to pay workers, they're going to do it. They're going to continue to cut American jobs. So if I were you, I would start looking at other auto manufacturers. That's just me. But I thought this was crazy. They even talked about this in Detroit News. Uh, the layoff co notice comes as United Auto Worker le leaders and analysis say the automaker is planning to take overflow production of Ram trucks at a nearby Sterling Heights assembly plant to Mexico. Remember we talked about that? We talked about that before it was even in the news. I told you this, and people were like, no, they'll never move these vehicles to Mexico. The UAW won't allow it. Well, what happened? I was right. I told you it was going to happen, and it happened. And it's going to continue to happen. And I understand, like, I, I, I have people that are, like, pro my channel. They're in my union guys that are messaging me or sending me emails saying that I piss off a lot of other people. Well, that's fine. I get it. I'm just giving you the facts. Um, the plant, you know, where they're cutting all these jobs is going to continue to produce the Grand Wagoneers. Um, and a quote was, we knew it was coming, but to actually find out that it's a reality is scary to say the least, says Candace Watts, 37 years old, who worked at the plant for a decade and serves on the executive board of the UAW Local 140, which represents workers at the plant. The mother of two said she's uncertain if she'll be among those cut, adding a membership meeting is scheduled for later this week. Just two days ago, Warren truck workers had gathered on Bell Isle for a picnic to vent and talk about the layoff rumors and discuss their options. They called the gathering the 140 layoff barbecue. Oh, it's just so crazy, man. It's just so crazy. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below i i feel i feel bad for those people but you know what is going on with stellantis is going to continue to get worse before it gets better stock is down again today their weight instead of spending money to continue doing their manufacturing and doing their stuff here in america they're pissing money away on human drone projects and other stuff which we'll talk about in in upcoming videos but they're just a friggin' disaster i'm sorry as long as carlos tavar is the ceo of that company you can basically guarantee that that company is going to continue to go into a downward spiral and basically continue to lose money and lose jobs just a fact let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like what I do. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, stay petty, my friends.